new fence panels going in. Look how nice they look. So obviously we're going to paint them. I uh, haven't decided what colour yet. That's where the old fence used to be. And this is the old fence panels. You can just see they're absolutely just worn out, really, really tired, broken everywhere. Uh, so yeah, again, just increasing the curb appeal. There he is, big Steve putting the fence panel in. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a hand now, Dad. No, no. <laughs> Looking really, really good. So we still got this small one here. Um, and basically, these come in like set sizes, so we're going to have to <laughs> make one of ourselves for this size, which will be fun. And then on the other side of the garden, these fences weren't actually like this side was actually okay. Um, it was just the other side that was absolutely battered. So all we're going to do. We're just going to put new tops on, so you can buy these separately. Again, they come in like a standard size. So all we're going to do here, so Max is going to sew across there. New top on this one, and that one's okay there. guys we've just taken the radiator off in the kitchen and then look at this horrendous wallpaper here so obviously they've they've are textiles there so we just painted that white quickly <laughs> but the uh, lazy buggers whoever put the radiator on originally you know haven't bothered to uh, to remove the old wallpaper so yeah look at that how old do you think that is god absolutely absolutely back of the radiator as well look how absolutely minging that is i don't even want to know what that is so yeah just gonna get the jet wash on it make it all clean and then we can reuse it and put it back on the wall have a little update of the house and um, so we're roughly 10 or 11 days into the refurb so we'll start it into the front garden so we've we've basically sanded all that down uh, the exterior windowsill ready to be repainted so that's looking good all the fence panels have been done as well but i think that was you saw that in an early video into the living room and so into the living room all has been painted so you can see a bit better. So yeah, just all white all around. Looking really good. Radiator, jet wash ready to be put back on. No point in buying new radiators, just, you know, you can just always clean the old ones. That's really good. Um, so yeah, so I think the, the, the idea is that we might actually put like a feature wall here, sort of like a, maybe like a sage green colour, um, just to break up because it's a lot of white at the moment. So yeah, so to be decided on that. So I threw into the into the kitchen. So you can see all the all the new floor that we put down. It, it's all dried out now, um, ready for the, the laminate to go over. Kitchen probably looks similar to what when you last saw it. So all the kitchen cupboards, 
still off. Um, we've repainted them, but obviously there's no point putting them on now because we still need to paint all the walls and the ceiling and they're just gonna get a, a wrong color paint on them. So have a quick look into the, into the back garden. So on the previous video, you, you can see that it was an absolute mess. So it, it still looks a mess, don't get me wrong, but um, I've taken up all the all the old decking used to be here. Um, so I've removed all of that, did that by hand. This is all the kind of like the rubble sort of thing. And then on the previous video here, there used to be all the old bushes from the front garden. And then at the bottom over there, there used to be the um, the decking from, um, not the decking, sorry, the laminate floor from the living room. And over there, I used to have the old decking. So basically a bit annoying. So the original plan was to get a skip for all of this stuff. Um, but for some reason, skips are just incredibly expensive. So I think I was quoted like 300 pounds for a skip that was big enough to do all of it. Um, and also they can only put the skip on the front road and which is obviously a main road with lots of traffic and things like that. So basically I've been doing it all myself. Um, so I've just been handballing into my car and just doing lots of tip runs today. Um, so I think I went to the tip or the recycle centre eight times in one day. So I think that, that could be a world record. I don't know, let me know. <laughs> um, and if you remember in the early video, do you remember <laughs> Dog Pee Corner? Um, so basically we ended up taking the old, um, there was kind of like, an, like a really weird like door frame, but with no door in there. So we took all that out. But then we had to do um, plasterboard and box the, the corner out and some skin beads there, you can see them there and then plaster too, um, skin too, sorry. So yes, yeah, so that's the salt wine out ready to be painted. And then upstairs, oh yeah, so annoyingly, <laughs> so a bit annoying. So when we took the, the door casing out because it was, it stunk a dog pee, this part of the wall came away and it was all loose and then the, the banister rail was there. So when people were trying to go upstairs and grab the banister rail, it was all wobbly. So basically it just chiseled out all the old um, plaster that was all, you know, broken and things like that. Basically we're just gonna get some, some browning plaster and just make that good. And then obviously we can reattach the, the banister rail. So going upstairs, um, again, it's all been painted, all fresh painting in here. To the front bedroom <laughs> also is the uh, the paint workshop so these are all the kitchen cupboards all been painted ready to go back on some more there and basically yeah so just all nice and white nice white clean bright and airy again um we use the radiators just power wash them and re-gloss them as well so they look really really good so yeah overall really really really, really happy with this and then we'll go straight into, actually we'll, we'll go into the bathroom first. So not much done in the bathroom, so basically just uh, all the walls have been painted. Um, painted here, painted here. And then done a deep clean of the bath, took the shower screen off, just bleached all of that down. Um, so yeah, so this is probably like the last room that we'll look at. So I think the, the extractor fan's going to need replacing up there. Um, but overall, this was never in really a bad condition. So, um, yeah, quite happy with that, how that's turned out. And lastly, into the into the back bedroom. So you can see we just re-glossed all the doors. So they look really good. We sanded them down first, re-glossed. And again, look how bright and airy this looks. Obviously, with the sun, it looks... It, you can't really tell, but maybe you can tell there. But yeah, it's all nicely painted, freshly white. So you can see on the ceiling, so we had to do, I think in the early video, you might have seen like a green sort of surface where the old ceiling paper was on, but that was all like rotted. And so took all that down, replaced it, painted that all white. And up, upstairs, you can still see a bit where the plaster's just drying there. So that needs repainting again. And then just a piece of our coving to go up there um, to finish it all off. So I hope you guys are enjoying these types of update videos. I hope you're finding them like educational. I hope you're finding them entertaining as well. I know I'm certainly enjoying making them for you. My overall sort of like impressions, I know I've done a few of these already, but we're, we're kind of like now 10 or 11 days into the, into the refair project. And overall, I'm just, I'm just super happy 
um, where we're at with it. Dare I say, I even think we're a bit ahead of schedule. Initially, I kind of budgeted six to eight weeks from start to finish, but I'm thinking now it's going to be like a, maybe like another two or three weeks until it's done. So that would be like five or six weeks until it's done. So that's obviously excellent being ahead of schedule because obviously the longer the house, re 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 refurb project, renovation project, whatever you want to call it, goes on, the longer the house is unoccupied, it's me as the owner who has to pay all the, the mortgage payments, you know, the council tax and the utilities as well. So the longer the refurb goes on, the more it costs you overall because of those, like, those extra charges that you incur. But yeah, you see from the videos, you know, it's, I feel like we're at the point now where a lot of the rooms are kind of like 70 or 80% of the way there. And we're just waiting on big things like the carpets and the laminate flooring. But obviously they kind of come at the end because there's no point in doing that until all the paintwork's done and all the messy jobs done. Because it's just going to get paint all over the carpets, paint all over the floors. And it'll just be a massive hassle and it's something that, um, you know, it's, it's something that I've done in a previous property and it's just an absolute nightmare. So I've learned a lesson on that especially. I think going forward now, um, hopefully the weather's going to stay, you know, relatively good. So we can do a lot of the work in the back garden, you know, moving that rest of that rubbish, getting the fence panels all painted. And then, you know, it, a lot of weeding needs to be done. And also where the decking, where are taking the decking up? There's the floor's a bit unlevel, so I need to figure out, you know, whether I'm going to put some new flags down or you know, can we come up with a creative solution, creative and cost-effective solution, how to make that look all nice. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep documenting and I'll, I'll show you any progress along the way. But overall, I hope you're enjoying the video and I hope you're enjoying the channel in general. If you've not already done so, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and allows me to keep making this type of content, which I really enjoy. All right, you have a good day. I'll see you next time.